Hey YouTube, Regitech here, and in this video we're going to go ahead and apply the armor suit front glass screen protector for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at the box and what the box contains. So around the box you'll see the armor suit logo and their military grade protection and their protection for lifetime. They do give you a lifetime replacement warranty, which I think is great. So inside the box, you'll find a sleeve that contains either your Samsung Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S8 Plus screen protector. You will get a squeegee and a microfiber cloth. And you will get the armor suit solution. So let's go ahead and begin this installation of this screen protector. So it's really important to have your hands completely clean before starting this, so go ahead and wash your hands and make sure that they're completely dry. Inside this little baggie you'll find a paper that Armasuit gives you about going to watch their videos on their website and to find out more information. You'll find this wax paper also that tells you to watch their videos or you can watch mine and it also tells you not to use this same application with the solution on any carbon fiber installations. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up this little baggie that has a squeegee and the microfiber and give the screen a little wipe down. I'm going to go ahead and spray some solution on my fingertips. Next we're going to go ahead and take the full body screen protector for the Galaxy S8 Plus and spray a little solution on the top. Now we're going to begin peeling it off. Once the screen protector is peeled off, we're going to go ahead and spray an ample amount of solution on the back. Now we're going to lay the screen protector down on the phone. Because this is a wet installation, you can always adjust the screen protector as it seems fit for you. We're going to spray some more solution on the top so that when we use the squeegee, it won't make any burn marks from the rubber. Start your squeegeeing out from the center of the screen protector. And work your way around the whole screen to make sure and get all the air bubbles out. You may need to lift up the screen protector, and when you do, you're going to have to spray more solution on it. You want to make sure and get as much liquid out as possible, so that it dries faster. You're going to want to spray more solution on the screen to make sure and get that perfect installation going. You're going to want to go ahead and dry this screen protector and your phone once in a while to make sure and get that excessive liquid off. So after letting the screen protector dry for about 15 minutes, you're going to go ahead and start to press down the sides so that the edges get rounded off on the screen, on the screen of the phone. If this doesn't work, then you just wait another couple of minutes and keep on doing this process until the sides of the screen protector stick down. They won't stick down at first because the screen protector is still wet, and for it to adhere to that side, it needs to be dry. If need be, and you don't see the screen protector going where it should be, all you have to do is go ahead and lift up the screen protector and put it into place. Once you lift it up, obviously you're going to have to re-put solution and you're going to have to go ahead and squeegee that out. You may find some specks of dust under the screen protector. All you gotta do is spray some solution on your hands and lift up that screen protector where that dust is. Spray some more solution under there and just wipe away the dust. Now 
now that I've let the screen protector sit and dry, as I have just adjusted it to make the screen protector fit properly on the phone, I'm going to go ahead and start pressing down the edges to let the edges adhere to the sides of the screen. Just continuously press the sides of the screen and put little pressure when dragging the edges down, as you don't want to stretch out the screen protector. You may want to hold it down in some spots that it's not working or adhering to at first. Just hold it down there for a couple of seconds and it'll adhere. Once all the edges of the screen protector have been adhered to the phone, you're going to want to go ahead and leave the phone unused for about 12 to 24 hours for the best results. Hey guys, so we're back and it's been about 24 hours that the screen protector has been sitting on this phone. And if you can take a look at the phone, it doesn't even look like there's a screen protector applied. So that's what's great about this armor suit screen protector. And as you can see by where the cutouts are, you can actually see that there is a screen protector on this, just in case if you were wondering. Uh, the screen protector is flawless. It feels great when you swipe it. It has no orange peel effect, which is great. Now, if you don't want to wait the 24 hours after you put the screen protector on, you can just put the screen protector on for the mm, minimum of maybe 12 hours. Let it sit there and you will get great results. But for the best results, you have to go with that 24 hour waiting period without using the phone at all. And what's great about this armor suit screen protector is that it does go over the edges of the phone. Which a lot of screen protectors don't, and they don't fit well when they do. This goes right over the edge of the phone and it sticks there perfectly. There's no seams, nothing. So, that's a really great thing, especially because you want to protect the edges of the phone because that's part of the glass. The good thing what they did is that they did leave a little bit of space on the top and on the bottom. So that you have space when you put on your case. It isn't the case friendly model, but they do provide a case friendly model. But I think this will be perfect for maybe almost any case. As long as the case doesn't have huge lips that go over the phone screen. So, let's go ahead and turn the phone on and see how the quality of the picture looks while the screen protector is on. So, as you guys can see, there's really no difference in the screen quality at all. This screen protector is crystal clear, and people have been asking me, will it make an impact on the screen color? It doesn't make an impact at all. The screen is perfect as it is, you know, there's no complaints. Picture quality is amazing on this. As you can see, the whites are clear whites, greens are greens, blues are blues, even the red is red. There's no hindering at all whatsoever with color using this screen protector. And this is a screen protector that I would recommend to anybody that has a Galaxy S8, Galaxy S8 Plus, even any other Galaxy phone. I will be posting links to this screen protector and the screen protector that's available for the Galaxy S8, as well as the case-friendly screen protector from Armor Suit, if you were interested in that one, on the description box below. If you guys like what you saw, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Regitech on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys, and until next time.